involved in sports is a great idea for any young person, but when they have braces, it can raise some concerns. What if they get damaged? Or, you know, am I allowed to play sport because I've got a mouthful of metal? You hear all sorts of random things. But thankfully, there's a solution for this in the form of mouth guards. So tell me, Dr. Bobby, why are mouth guards important? <laughs> I feel like I've got one in my mouth right now as I'm talking about it. The, the, they're important. I mean, there's the, the, there's the obvious common sense side about why mouth guards are important. It just gives an extra layer of protection to your teeth. You know, when you break your teeth, they don't grow back. You know, they're not mm. like spiders' legs. You know, the, yeah. when they when they break, they're broken forever. You know, and uh, they have to be looked after and repaired and maintained for the rest of your life. So dental injuries are permanent, you know, mm. so it's uh, extremely important to protect your teeth uh, and the gums and surrounding uh, structures, right. you know, during sport, you know, particularly the high impact stuff, you know, the worst one's got to be hockey, you know, yeah. fo closely followed by cricket, you know, but then of course there's AFL, NRL, boxing, all that martial arts. So it's super important to have that extra protection over your teeth. For sure. Mm. So, what are the different types of mouth guards then? Because there's a few that I just thought was just one thing. But yeah, well, indeed. I mean, you, you can go to the pharmacy and pick one up that you put in boiling water and, and mold it around your teeth. And I guess, uh, from the point of view of anything's better than nothing, then yeah, anything is better than nothing. Um, but. Th those kind of mouth guards certainly aren't made to you know, an Australian standard. And of course, there are Australian standards around mouth guards too. So whenever you come to see a, a dentist or an orthodontist or, or whatever, we'll make a mouth guard which is to the highest standard possible, which provides the maximum protection to the teeth and the gums and surrounding structures. Mm. And so not all mouth guards are made the same, that's for sure. There you have it. Yeah. So how are they made then? Because if you make them, you make them for people, obviously. Yeah, so it, it kind of depends on the, the level of level of protection. Okay, but the, the bare minimum is that you have about one and a half millimeters of material over the, the front of the teeth and the gums, and it's well fitting and well retaining. Okay, mm. uh, and that provides, um, you know, high resistance to impact to the teeth to prevent fracturing of, of teeth and bones. Yeah, uh, and they're they're made um, from molds of teeth. So if you take a model of someone's teeth, remember the horrible yep. goo that yep, they put yep, in yep. people's mouths. Uh, these days we do it digitally through a three D digital scanner. Oh, um, awesome! That's, that's how we do that it. That is disgusting. I've yeah, had it before. It's, it's, stick it's, it all in there. You got to sit there <laughs> feeling like Michelin Man in your yeah, mouth. Yeah. But still, it's uh, you know it's probably the quickest and easiest way and cheapest way to make mm. make a, a good quality mouth guard. And we make them in a dental laboratory to fit perfectly for that individual so they're custom made for that individual mm, mm -hmm. i love it yeah so braces. what if you have braces can you still wear a mouth guard yes you can you can but don't get me wrong it is a little bit trickier when you have braces but yes you can have a mouth guard okay uh, we normally provide kids with uh, an off-the-shelf mouth guard which fits passively over the braces because of course when you have braces the teeth are moving constantly yes. so a, a mouth guard that fits today doesn't fit tomorrow yes. so of course we have to have something uh, a, a little bit uh, more passively fitting uh, but still provides really great protection for the teeth and the gums okay, okay. Uh, but as treatment progresses and the teeth don't are, don't have to move around quite as much then we can make a custom made mouth guard for for kids to fit over the teeth and the braces there you have it yeah. so just because you're getting braces doesn't mean you have to give up your favorite sport Definitely and um, if you're playing sports especially that hockey and uh, the other ones that dr. Bobby mentioned make sure you get a proper mouth guard so if you're after one go and see the team at Sunbird Orthodontics and they'll discuss your options with you and get you back up and running in no time <laughs>